guys, it's Sarah and welcome back to my channel where I talk about all things books and writing. I've been working on out going over the outline of my book, going through the Save the Cat Writes a Novel book, and making sure that what I've written so far lines up with the beats in the Save the Cat outlining process. I've spent a lot of time today working on this and I thought I should film the rest of it. As I worked on the outline, I kind of decided that I I'm done with the first draft of my book, which is very exciting, but it feels kind of anticlimactic because like the whole book isn't done. I can't look at it and like read it from start to finish and say like this is my story, even if it's like not good, like very good writing. It's 44,000 words approximately, and I said I would call it quits at 50,000, but I realized that I really want to print out my draft and read it through. I feel like I'm struggling to keep writing right now because there's a lot of things I need to figure out that take a lot of brainstorming, like magic systems, the world at large, like the different kingdoms in my book, how a lot of like the education and the politics, the actual cities work and transportation. It's like all this brainstorming that needs to happen and I'm struggling to do that while I'm writing. So, and I also need to like establish a lot more about certain characters with their personalities and like a lot of like flaws and character traits and a lot of names and different things I've kind of just put in while I'm writing like name, city, like things that I can just think about later. So I feel like I'm at a point where in order to write about some of these things I really need to sit down and brainstorm and like figure out a whole guide to like how these things work. So I thought I'd just say that the first draft is done because the meat of everything is there but all of these finer details that will make the story come alive a lot more aren't, and I need to spend a lot of time working on that. So I went through Save the Cat Writes a Novel again to kind of look at the beginning of my book because I've really struggled with the beginning of the story. I feel like I've said it before, but the idea that I originally had for this story is actually in book two. And then the next I, like component of it that I came up with is the ending of the entire series. So I really hadn't put much thought into how the story would start and it took a lot of like world building um, brainstorming that I just did recently to kind of figure out how I would want to start the story. And I've known how I wanted to finish the first book for a while because I know how it jumps into book two, but how I wanted to start book one has just been, I don't know, it's been very difficult and I couldn't come up with it. So. I finally came up with it a few days ago and I wrote it. So I wrote my first chapter. I had two other chapters before that that I thought were first chapters, but they really just didn't match with what the story's about. They kind of didn't set the right tone. They were too much like exposition. They weren't enough like showing. I don't know, it wasn't very visual. It wasn't very... I would read it and be like, that's not gonna hook me. And I already know like what the story's about. So I finally got to it, that's the positive. So now I've just decided I'm done with my first draft and I'm moving on to the second draft. So I already like opened the document. There's a document labeled draft two. And today I plotted out a lot of the beginning of the story. So I, the middle of the story is definitely not done. There's a lot of like summary and I know I wanna add a lot more to it. So I know the ending and the beginning pretty well now and then large chunks of the middle but I have three different point of views in this story. The middle has like a lot of different point of views and I have to kind of figure that all out. So the middle is a little more tr tricky so I decided I will take you along with me what I'm doing. So already today what I did with outlining I started by taking a large sheet of paper and basically putting each of the main characters on it and breaking it down. I don't, I don't know how they describe this. It's kind of like what makes a flawed hero is how they describe it in this book. So they, they say that every hero needs a problem, a want, and a need. So a flaw that needs fixing, a goal that the hero is trying to pursue, and a life lesson to be learned. So I took my main character and wrote that out. They have a lot of options for you to choose from of like overall life lessons that are typically in books. So some are forgiveness, love, acceptance, faith, fear, trust, survival, selflessness, 
responsibility and redemption. So I just kind of took that and I already knew what my main character's life lesson is. So I just kind of put that in there and then looked at what her like internal problems would be. Cause I think that's what I was struggling with was like, I knew what her external problems were, but I didn't really know what her internal problems were as much. So now that I know like what, what I want her to, her life lesson to be, it's a little bit easier to kind of like define them. Cause I had like an idea. I wanted them to be very well defined, especially in this opening chapter and the first couple chapters. So we really understand like how she feels about things then we can kind of like show that progression throughout the story of her like overcoming her life lesson and kind of accepting things so i did that and then i took each um, of the beats in the beginning and did the same thing like took a large sheet of paper so i have like my opening image and kind of broken it down and made sure a that it's an image which it is and all the imagery and that there's kind of like kind of like some of the themes are woven in there even though like they're not that obvious and then i wanted to make sure that she displays those flaws that i just determined front and center in this chapter and then i also made sure that the opening chapter the opening image has a mirror beat for the final image at the end of the book so i have all of that kind of laid out and i can make sure to like kind of keep that like circular part of the story so that they mirror each other. So that's all set. So I have that chapter written, but to be able to like write it out on paper exactly what I want, like those different points that I wanna hit. Now, when I go through to edit this chapter, when I print it out for my second draft, I can make sure that I'm hitting all of those points and it's really like capturing what I want it to. The next one on their beat sheet is to have a theme stated, so I made that. I kind of wrote out what it was, but I know which scene it comes from, and they say the theme stated shouldn't come from your main character, it should come from somebody else, and they also shouldn't listen to it. So I already have had this scene written for a while, but I think I'm gonna, when I go through for my second draft, um, I'm definitely gonna tweak it so it fits this a bit more to kind of sum everything up of her like character arc. I did that one, so we have that plan. And then the next sheet or the next beat is the setup. So that's when you see the rest of the world in her. Like they talk about how the opening image is just kind of like a glimpse into her world, like a, a brief snapshot of the world. But the setup part, which can be multiple chapters, multiple scenes, will show you kind of like the rest of the world of everything that happens. So for my character, it would be like introducing her friends and family and where she lives and kind of how her life is on like a regular basis. So I have all that stuff listed out. And part of the setup is that you need to really talk about their goal of like what the main character thinks will fix their life at the moment to like solve their problem, even though it probably won't, is kind of like the concept. So making sure that like with each aspect of her life that I'm showing in the story of these like upcoming chapters, I'm showing how she thinks that her like answer, her goal that she's trying to achieve will solve the issues that she sees in her life. It's been really helpful to just kind of plot that out a bit better and make sure I touch on a lot of that stuff. So this is where it was like, how do I even write these chapters? I had a lot of them written, but there's other parts that I need to write for it that describe the magic systems, the cities, the political systems, like all this stuff, religion, all these different things that make up this world. And I'm like, I don't have it created yet. I have vague concepts in my mind of how it works. So that is what I'm doing on this second draft getting to like explore a bit and write a bit more. So that's why I'm like, who cares if I get to 50,000 words because I'm not even close to done writing the book. Like I have to finish writing all of this information and make sure that we get like a good glimpse into her whole entire world before the next beat happens, which is the catalyst. So I have that here and that's a big event that basically means their world as they knew it is now completely shattered and they can't go back to life the way it was before. I have that, that idea has been written and cemented for a while in the story. So it's just kind of going through and making sure that's all completed. So that's kind of like where I got to today is up until the catalyst. So the part after that, I have written plenty of, it's called the debate. I don't 
know if it's exactly the way I want it to be to kind of transition from the catalyst. So I'm gonna have to think on that a bit more, but this is probably like minimum 15 chapters getting up to this catalyst and all of the stuff because the catalyst is multiple chapters long and I have a lot of that written and it's also like multiple point of views so it takes a bit of time to get there. So now that I have this completely plotted out using the Save the Cat beat sheet um, for outlining, I am going to print out those chapters that link up all the way to the end of the catalyst and I'm going to print them out and put them in a binder that I have and just kind of read through them, I don't know, make some notes, and then I'm going to try to make the first 15 or so chapters up until that point in the outline completely done for the second draft. And then I'll move on because after that, like I know what's happening a lot after that. I just feel like this first half, it's not going to change once like the content's not going to change once I get to the second um, draft and I get everything all kind of like brainstormed and plotted out, the facts about the world shouldn't change much. So maybe some tweaking, but hopefully that's the end. So I'm thinking that then I can have the first 15 chapters completely done, it's the whole beginning, and then I can give it to my friend who's going to beta read for me, kind of see like what she thinks, if, like if I'm on the right track for like another person reading this. Is it engaging? I just want it to be interesting, I want it to like hook readers in the beginning, and I want them to be interested in the world. So the sooner I can like get a finish, finished product to kind of show this whole beginning and see if it's interesting enough as like an opener to the story. Because as we know from reading, all the catalysts are just like barely scratching the surface before we go into like a new world, so Harry Potter. It's super exciting when he gets his letter, but like... The cool stuff is when it gets to Hogwarts, so we're not at Hogwarts yet. I want to see if we're in it's interesting enough to people before we even get there. Anyways, so I'm gonna do that, and I just thought I would film it and bring you along with me through this whole process of writing a book. What a journey it is. <laughs> it takes so much longer than I think it will be. I was hoping to be done with my first draft by the end of August, which it's not off at the end of August, it's only the middle of August. In my mind, like finishing the first draft meant completely being 100% done and then like with the whole storyline and then draft two was gonna be more like editing it to like sound better and make more sense and be better vocabulary and be like more descriptive and stuff like that but I didn't realize how long this was gonna take so I'm like a little discouraged, but I'm, I'm hoping that after I print this all out and like see how much work I've actually done, I'm gonna feel a lot better about it, which is also why I'm not continuing to write on this draft. I just feel like I need to like psychologically trick my brain and show it like you've done a lot of work, look at all these chapters that are here, and just like get these chapters to a place where I feel proud of them and then continue on. Finish plotting a bit more and like make sure I really understand where we're going next because a lot of it's written but I'm just like, I don't know, when I go through the, the outlining, I get confused in the next section which is the debate section. I don't know why but for some reason it's like the, the main character is supposed to be like trying to decide whether or not they like do something, whether or not they accept their fate, kind of, I don't know. But whatever it is their their goal that like from the catalyst and they're supposed to be kind of like teetering back and forth a bit or like preparing and I don't know. I just am struggling with that part of like how to fit that into my story. I feel like I'm thinking about it too hard, but yeah, I don't know. So I feel like I just want to get to this, I want to get these first ones done and hopefully then I'll feel a bit better about moving on after that. So yeah. So let's get, we're going to print this out, I'm going to read it through, I'm going to pour myself a glass of wine, and I'm going to enjoy looking at my book for the first time and like really reading it and hopefully I won't be too critical. That's what the wine will be for because I feel very critical right now. So I'm going to do it on paper, read through. And like make notes because I feel like if I go into the computer right now and try to start editing I'm gonna change way too much stuff and then I might be really frustrated later 
and be like, that wasn't all terrible. Why'd you get rid of it? <laughs> so that's what's gonna happen. So let's get to it. Let's start printing these pages out. script or my first draft of my fantasy novel that I'm currently writing and I'm in such a better mood than I was last night this is so exciting I'm so proud that I have so much already I only printed out the first 16 chapters and I have almost 40 chapters 
written for the first draft. So <laughs> I'm about to eat some lunch and I thought I would just sit down and start reading because last night I was just way too critical. I read like a page of this and then I realized I was way too tired and just needed to go to bed. Cause I think I started that video at like eight or nine o'clock. And after I like got everything all situated and printed, it was probably 10 o'clock. And I was just way too tired to like look at this with a fresh set of eyes. And it is the afternoon and I did a bunch of stuff today and now I'm ready to sit down and look at this. I'm really excited. I know I said I was just gonna like read through the first 16 chapters because they're pretty complete, but I'm kind of just like too excited. And after I start reading for a little bit, I may just print out the whole rest of it and then just like have one binder that was like, I have it on here, like when I started my first draft and when I finished. So I might just like leave this and like not change anything to this and be like, this is where it was when I began. And this is how long it took me to write this amount and keep it and then get a new binder for when I'm like printing out the second draft and just kind of keep it that way or it, like put a divider in here or something because I don't know, I feel like it's good to like keep your progress and see where you've been. And hopefully after I've written a full book and once I'm working on the rest of the books in this series, because it'll definitely be at least a trilogy from what I have mapped out so far. Hopefully like the next one will go a lot smoother and I'll be able to kind of like see what I did with this and see where I was with this and hopefully it'll just be such a smoother journey and not quite as chaotic as this one has been. But it's also, it's my first book and I'm learning so much and I've been learning so much about the publishing process as well as the writing process. There's just been so much to learn. So I gotta give myself grace on this and just accept the way it's gone. And I just need to be proud that like, there's like, it's a book, there's things here. It, I mean, this is just like regular, like full, sh like word sheets, you know, like, so, but that there's 49 of them and that's only the first 16 chapters. And it's definitely, some of these are definitely not done. Like they're not the full length that I want them to be. So it'll be longer. So yeah, and I'm around 45,000 words. So I want it to be somewhere between 70 and 90. It's kind of the goal. So we'll get there, but I just thought I would film myself reading this for the first time and enjoying it and just kind of share a little bit more. But I'm going to eat my lunch before it gets cold and start reading.